Hey everybody, I'm Sir Tap Tap, and I've recently decided I should start every video with a little bit of a, a question for you all, so here's my question for today. Which was your favorite event in Abyssrium? Obviously you're watching this video, you're, you're a player, so wh which was your favorite event and why? Just let me know in the comments. Um, anyway, the May event is here, and goodness, it is so easy, it's ridiculous. Uh, there are a couple things I don't like about it, but um, the biggest thing, which is both good and bad, um, there are no hidden fish. All of the fish unlocks are just there. Um, and further to the point, they're all pretty easy. Nothing is really that crazy hard. Um, makes it a little bit weirder to have a guide for, you know, um, stuff you might already easily be able to find out. But hey, um, I mostly do these to like review the fish at this point. Um, the the unlocks are quite easy. The um, one quite bad thing is there's no, you notice there's usually a little icon there that has the previous event fish. Uh, not the case this time. So you can't get the fish event from um, the Egypt event, which was a really good one. Or the uh, Alice in Wonderland event, which was also a good one. An, an odd sort of choice, but uh, yeah. Um, those aren't a thing, this event. So that that kind of is a shame. But uh, let's dive right into the fish. You already probably know the unlocks, but I like to review them anyway, so it's fine. Fish-shaped bun. I, I like how it's not like a bun fish. Like, it is a fish-shaped bun. Yet it moves. Has it been given life? Is it some kind of bread golem? I don't know. I can tell from the look on its face that it does not enjoy being alive. So that's... That's unfortunate. I rate it out unfortunate out of 10. Popcorn football fish. This fish slavery just has to end. They put him in a little apron. You think that's cute? You think that's funny? Well, it is, but it's... His little thing is coming out of his hat. That's got to be uncomfortable to take off. Anyway. Um, visitor Sea Pig. The theme part. Some of these. It's, it's an odd kind of theme. You know, they're running out of themes. It's alright, I guess. But It's just like a little kid in like a giraffe onesie. I like giraffes, but... That's my official review. Uh, bumper car Dumbo Octopus. Okay, so if they're going to have to put a Dumbo Octopus in every event, I approve of this one because he has a stupid little bumper car and he's going crazy. Um, I, I approve of that. He looks like a he looks more like a pig. He looks more like a pig than the sea pig. Do you notice that? Do you see that? You seen this? You heard about this? Um, but no, really, he does. Um, <laughs> he looks like a sheriff. Um, own five bumper car Dumbo Octopus. I'm not, I'm forgetting to even read the unlocks. They're, they're, they're right there. Um, yeah, watch ad to get popcorn three times with a football fish. Use 50 seaweed for the visitor sea pig. Super easy. Um, take a picture of visitor sea pig one time for the Dumbo Octopus. This event is so easy I'm forgetting to read the unlocks. Um, staff seahorse own five bumper car Dumbo seahorse. Or Dumbo Octopuses. New species unlocked. Dumbo seahorse. Look at that beautiful, <laughs> beautiful young man there. Um, hot balloon <laughs> clownfish with a little garden eel. That is adorable. That That is not what I expected. Share a photo of ticket booth extension one time. Oh my gosh, they keep mis mixing up the words. That is an expand item, not extension item. Thanks, Google Translate. Um, that is in the expand quest. That's also not hidden, but we'll get to it in a bit. Uh, I love the little garden eel in the, in the basket. That that's that's pretty adorable, actually. That's that's a really good one. Staff octopus own eight hot air balloon clownfish. <laughs> that's cute. Did you know that octopi are actually the exact opposite of this? Um, they use two um, they use two like tentacles kind of as their legs, and the rest kind of as arms. Like they kind of like skadoodle around the seafloor if they're you know on the seafloor at least. Um, just dumb random fact. I like that he has eight arms, but he still has to, like, stuff the end of the spatula into his butt to, like, keep it held. He looks like Spongebob's new OC co-worker. Who, who wrote Mr. Staff Octopus, the, 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 the Spongebob OC? Fess up. I know it was one of you. Frog family. Ah, 
that's cute. Okay, I was skeptical. I was skeptical of this this idea of the um, the theme park thing, but that's just cute. That's just cute. Where's Mom Frog though? Maybe that is Mom Frog. It's it's single parent Frog. It's okay. They're doing their best. But the little tadpoles. That's adorable. Why aren't there tadpoles? I mean, it is salt water, but we've got other frogs. Are there salt water frogs? Hmm. Feel free to inform me in the comments, I guess. Mad teacup jellyfish! Reach level seven, uh, hermit crab skill. Easy one as always. Oh, hey, um, if these videos help you, obviously this event is a little extra on the easy side, but um, if these videos help you, check out either the join button on, below the video, uh, which is basically Patreon, but on YouTube. You know, you pay a monthly amount and support me and I get to use that money to fund equipment and stuff. Or go to my real Patreon, which is patreon.com slash SirTapTap, which is also in the description. Um, and that's pretty much the same thing. You get some neat little perks. Uh, you get a fancy name color in our Discord. Um, and you don't have to be a patron to join the Discord, by the way. Everyone can join, so uh, come on in there. Um, this one is... This one reminds me of, like, one of those fancy... Um, Christmas ornaments that's got like little crap going on inside. I don't know how to describe it. They're like little dioramas, you know? Um, I like, I always like those. This is actually, I was, I was going in really skeptical with that first fish. Um, there's actually a lot of detail and stuff going on in this. So I, I, I approve of most of these. The, the, the first, it did not start off strong, I will be frank, but uh, we're getting there. Pilot Monk Seal plays Hammer Game Machine one time. That is an expand item, which they didn't list as one. But again, that's in the expand thing. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's all I need to say about that one. Souvenir dolphin. Uh, um, souvenir dolphin. Own five pilot monk seals. Yeah, I'm not really feeling this one as much. Like, I like plushes and stuff, but I don't know. It just doesn't... It's not speaking to me. Not like the frog family did. Okay. Okay, that's awesome. I don't understand how this is a staff shark. That is... <laughs> that is clearly a private investigator shark. Um, on his way to, to investigate the sea hounds of Baskerville. But that is adorable. Um, staff shark, take a picture of souvenir dolphin one time. Like I said, these are ridiculously easy unlocks. The only hard thing will be getting the three, um, whales that you need. Um, but I think the total cost is something like just a hundred thousand. Like it's, it's nothing. Um, the final fish is free even by the way. But I, I, I approve of this guy. The stupid British explorer hat thing really sells it. Um, visitor crocodile. Eh. I'm not. I'm just not a huge fan of the ones where it's just a fish in clothes. Uh, because for this, this one is okay. This one I'm okay with because he's he's you know he's Sherlock Holmes. Uh, theme park whale. Oh, he's got some. <laughs> he's got freaking. Um, what's the place from My Little Pony called? Uh, he's got that on his back. With like a little. He's got a one of those hot dog squids on his back too. It's got the whole ass theme park there. He's got some like melted cake frosting on his skin. That's okay. That does not irritate skin at all. Um, yeah, theme park whale own 13 species of new event fish. That's just all of the other fish in the list. And own 80 total new event fish. All of the whales are pretty much the same unlock. And finally, where's he at? This boy, merry-go-round turtle. Complete all quests. Uh, it's apparently free this time. I haven't got it yet, but you just have to do the quest, and I guess you get it free, and you only get one, I think. But yeah, I think there's a new, yeah, there's a new in-app purchase. It, this, this is always just animal that not go underwater, but goes underwater due to, you know, fishbowl on head. And the ears clip through the fishbowl, come on. <laughs> I'm not a, Mew! Hi, Parker. I'm not a big fan of the animal but has thing on head unlocks, or fish. But I don't have to buy them, so whatever. Um, so, God, the screen is so cluttered. Look at all of these stupid exclamation points, and you can't get rid of them. I'm sorry, that stuff really makes me mad. Oh, frick. Um, so, first thing you do every event, if this is your first event, what you want to do, um, 
close the menu, go to this little palette icon here, and you want to buy... There are little theme items here you can get. Um, only one of them, only the die here is required for the um, for the unlocks. There's the train! But um, these are all permanent unlocks. They're very cheap. So you, you may as well get them. Moo! Hi, Parker. That's my cat. You get pictures of my cat if you support my Patreon, by the way. He is fluffy and adorable. I also have a bunch of videos I'm on on YouTube. Okay, I like the... That is not a train, by the way. <laughs> this, this, is, this is distinct from a train. It is a roller coaster. I was wondering why it was a train. Um, but yeah, it is definitely a roller coaster, which does make more sense. Um, but yeah, the um, by buying the die, you get the Hermit Crab. If you haven't played these events before, the main way to play it is you upgrade the Hermit Crab, you collect popcorn from the fish. That's just the event currency. Um, and the event currency rolls over between... Oh my god, see, there's so much crap in the screen, I can't click things. There's so much just UI everywhere, it's such a mess. And all of these new bubbles that never go away. Those used to go away if there was like an ad. It'd be like, oh, you can watch an ad and then you clicked away from it. And it's like, oh, okay, you don't want to watch the ad so the thing goes away. But it never goes away now. It drives me insane. Um, but yeah, the, the Hermit Crab. If this is your first event, basically all you do, power up the Hermit Crab, cast the Hermit Crab like you activate his skill. Um, a little icon appears over his head. And he gives you a bunch of stuff. Then you can upgrade the Hermit Crab, as you can see here, with some basic unlocks. Um, and by upgrading the Hermit Crab, you increase the value of this ad, too. So it's really just watching a bunch of ads, which <laughs> might not surprise you from a free-to-play mobile game without a Gashapon. Well, it does have a Gashapon, but yeah, it's just watch a bunch of ads. So um, the expand quest here is how you get some of those items. Um... These are all pretty self-explanatory. You have to do these in order, though. So if you... Um, uh, that one probably doesn't actually use armor crabs. So like, so this thing, this counter probably starts after after you like unlock all these quests. So you want to race down to this daily mission one, because obviously that takes three full days. So try to do these as fast as you can. Spend 50 clam, delicious food. These are all quite quick. Oh, you actually do need to buy the corgi cap. I didn't, I didn't even see that. Um, just just buy the things. They're so cheap and they're permanent unlocks. Just get them. People used to like get like really weird and like oh, you told me to buy the hat. And now I spent 500 candies. I'll never get back. It's like, dude, the, the the event costs like five billion candies, and you're mad at me for 500. Come on. Uh, anyway, um, there's also the um, quest here. Um, let me read my own guide here. There's always a written guide, by the way, it's in the description. Um, you have to do these quests in order too. So mission one, create three fish-shaped buns. Um, mission two, beauty of hexagon. Place one of each hexagon expansion tile. Those are in the expand quest that we just saw here. Right in here, just place them anywhere. Um, theme park staff is the third one here. Um, own five staff seahorse, own five staff octopus, pretty easy. A moment to remember is the fourth one. Um, take one photo of Souvenir Booth Expansion and own five frog families. Pretty easy, as always. The final one, as it always is, own three theme park whales. It's expensive. Don't buy the fit. Don't buy the whales until you unlock that last mission. Once you do that, you get the um, merry-go-round turtle, and it's apparently free, which shaves off a nice 100,000 candy worth. So, um, yeah, very easy event. Um, very mixed bag of fish quality, honestly, but uh, I don't mind it too much. So, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to get more timely updates on whenever there's a new event in this game and others. Um, and hey, if you finish the event too early because it's too easy, uh, feel free to check out the other videos on other games. Maybe you'll find something new and fun. Alright gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell, frog. What are you doing in my house? I, I, I would just get out.